Hey guys, Lockie here with an overview of the Ford Whip Wing Belt 2.0. So I've been testing this for a few weeks now and I've ridden it in a different range of conditions and I just wanted to touch on some key features and then the pros and cons of riding with a belt style harness um, in general. So let's kick it off with the key features. So the harness is pretty low profile all round. It's a step up from the first belt, which was a bit more mi minimalistic. Um, Ford Whip kept the same design methodology by the looks of it, but they added some functionality. The thing that stands out first is the bright padding along the back of the harness. Um, this really helps with distributing the pressure of riding with a harness line, and I've actually committed to keeping a harness line on my wing because of this belt. It's so comfortable to ride with the harness lines upwind, and the belt is low profile and minimalistic enough so you don't really notice it when you aren't hooked into the harness line. The next feature would be the sliding hook. Um, it seems to be a pretty standard feature for belt style harnesses, but good to see this one maintains that. Getting on the board without dragging the hook through the deck grip is a necessity, and this feature adds the feeling of not really noticing the belt or having to change your habits to adapt to the belt style harness. You can also remove the hook very easily if you don't want to use it, which is another great feature. Other than that, the harness has plenty of attachment points for both the wing line and the board line. Um, I personally only ride with the board attached to the belt and I choose to run my Velcro leash around the webbing. And so I had to play with the saddle that comes on the harness and it works really well with a carabiner or a soft shackle to clip on and off. But I just prefer having it run around the webbing and have the, having the Velcro attachment there as an option. Um, I ended up cutting off the saddle because I wasn't using it, but that's more because my preference is to tailor things to my own needs, I guess. Yeah. That's about it for the key features, so I wanted to do a bit more of a deeper dive into the pros and cons of just using a belt style harness in general. So I guess rapid fire, the pros would be keeping the board leash out of the water. It also makes attaching leashes a lot quicker, especially for those that are running the wing to the belt as well. And then the last thing I wanted to touch on was it unlocks riding with harness lines on your wing, uh, which can be game changing for some riders because it will enable you to ride and have longer sessions without your arms burning out. Um, the only con I could really think of of this style of harness um, is it's a bit heavier than just having the Velcro attachment to your, to your leg and I guess there's a little bit more gear strapped to you um, relative to just having a, a leash attachment. In saying that, I definitely think the pros outweigh the cons and I've been riding with a, a belt style harness for a very long time now. So outside of that, I think the rest comes down to personal preference. Um, some love running the wing to the belt and others find it gets a little bit tangled too often. So I personally think that a belt is a essential piece of kit for wing foiling. And I think the, the, having the actual hook on, on the belt itself is an essential piece for those wanting to maximize their time on the water because it unlocks riding with a harness line and riding with a harness line will allow you to have those longer sessions because your arms aren't going to fatigue. In saying that, I've been skeptical about harness lines for quite a while, especially before using this belt, just because I could never quite get the balance point right with the wing and it just felt a little bit clunky. But I think potentially with newer wing designs and newer gear such as this this belt, which is a little bit more comfortable ride with a harness line, I think that's really unlocked it for me and I, I'm gonna be keeping a, a harness line on my wing at all times and, and leaving the hook on the belt. I think one of the, the key things about this belt that really unlocks that that riding is the Ford Whip's really found the line between having a harness that's comfortable to ride with, with the padding in the back, without going over the top and having something that's too bulky that you sort of noticing it during your riding or you know when you fall off and getting back on your board and, and that sort of thing. So I think they've done really well to, to find that, that middle ground between comfort and bulkiness. So for those wanting to test out riding harness lines on their wings, um, go check out my other video on Ford Whip's new harness line 2.0. It has a few features that I think are actually really important for a harness line and um, features that aren't really seen on other harness lines. So make sure to go check that out to see what I'm talking about. As always, you can find all these great products and more on the OTB Marine website and I'll have the link in the description. These guys have been really great to me with my wing falling progression and I think they do a really good job of not overstocking and trying to sell you sort of older gear that won't actually be in your best interest for learning wing foiling. And um, yeah, they're just 
really great to deal with. So yeah, make sure to head over to otbmarine.com.au to check out the latest and greatest in wing foiling equipment. So for those that are outside of Australia, I'd recommend heading over to Ford Whip's international website. You can jump on there and, and see local dealer is um, and get your hands on some of this really awesome winging gear. Anyway, that's about it for me. So um, yeah, thanks for watching.